something that a lot of students don't really do enough of in Final Cut is incorporate texture. Um, texture is so easy and it can really make a project um, look that much more dynamic and interesting. Um, here I've kind of thrown a paper texture over the image and I've also put an image mask on the image to uh, kind of make the edges look like it's kind of carved out of paper there. Uh, let's go step by step through how I did this. So first I'm going, I, I started with my, give me some room to work here, my uh, color corrected image there and let's uh, control um, remove attributes. Oh, I don't want to remove the filters but what I have on here is my come on there we are my image mask let me take you through how I did that if you go to video filters matte and you use the image mask you'll drag that onto the clip and what you're going to do is create a shape in um, Photoshop that's going to sh tell Final Cut what shape you want the uh, image to be. So when I opened up Photoshop, I just took out my brush and I made this weird swooshy pattern. Um, you want to make sure that you go to File, New, Film and Video, and make sure that you use whatever video settings you're shooting your video on. Um, so I was shooting on HD 720p, so that's the settings I'm going to use. And then I just use my brush and, you know, made a cool swoosh to make a shape. You can also do this, like you can use the dream bubble um, if you want to do like a dream or a... Uh, really any shape that you want you can now bring it into Final Cut just save it as a PSD to go file save as and just save it as a Photoshop because remember Final Cut reads Photoshop files so then I brought that that swoosh that I made and I just clicked I brought that in and went file import and I'm just gonna click and drag it and put it right there on my image. Um, obviously it's not inverted yet so we're going to invert it and now we have the image is now in the shape of or the video is now in the shape of my image. So that's pretty cool. Um, also I, I have this cool paper texture. Just like in Photoshop I can now bring my textures into Final Cut. I'm going to have to resize it. Um, because its aspect ratio is a little different from my clip. And I can put that on top of the image. Now I'm going to uh, Command C, Shift, I'm going to bring this under the image. So now we have the, the paper texture sort of on the image. And I'm also going to Command B. And so I have a paper texture on top and a paper texture on the bottom. My top image, I'm going to use composite mode. So I'm going to com command or control composite mode and I'll put it on overlay. Now right now, if I just use straight overlay, it's going to be really, really yellow and intense. And maybe that's a little too much for me. So I'm going to go to effects and um, I'll use a uh, color correction filter. And I'm going to desaturate this. And now it's not quite so intimidating. I can also control the opacity and get different effects as well. So you can see that you can do a lot with this in Final Cut. Um, also on this image you can throw on a drop shadow so you can look like it, get that sort of look happening. So, so there's my drop shadow, increase the softness, increase the opacity. And then the main thing with all these layers though is you're going to have to render it, so get used to that. And here you
here you go. So you can see that there is a lot of interesting things that you can do using textures and Final Cut. Enjoy.